Hey, what's up guys? We are five days out today, um, being Monday. Just got in from the gym like uh, two hours ago. Um, I'm trying to get a lot more rest. This whole week I'm gonna be trying to get a lot more rest. So as soon as I came home, had my post-workout meal, um, laid down for an hour, took a nap. So now I'm up and we're gonna be cooking some steak. Um, diet is basically still like on my low days until we carb up. So it's about 150 grams of carbs. Um, last week I started implementing, you know, the carb HD with all my workouts actually towards the, the end of the week, just to start, you know, make sure the muscle has some volume to it. Uh, make sure, you know, there's glycogen in the muscle. We're not depleting the muscles too, too, too much because I've found like from the weeks of, you know, really hard dieting and high cardio, some of my muscles are very depleted. And even when I did that giant 2000 gram high carb day, it still wasn't enough food to fill out. When I say it's not enough food, it's probably just not enough time um, because of the training intensity, because of all the cardio, um, oftentimes when we get that depleted, it can take an athlete four or five, six, sometimes seven days to fill out. Like last year when they did, we did the California Pro with Antoine, um, between the New York and the California, we actually had him on over a thousand grams of carbs for like seven days. Um, that's how much it took to get his body um, to fill back up from, you know, prepping for weeks and weeks and weeks. So yeah, so yesterday we jacked the water. We're at nine liters of water. Um, so that's gonna get the body flushing. So we're gonna continue that uh, today, probably tomorrow. The water very, very high. Um, Wednesday, because the show is on a Friday, um, We'll probably start our carb load on Wednesday, but I just want to give you guys a quick update today. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to take you guys through uh, one of my final workouts. That's uh, that's the update for today, guys. I really uh, am enjoying this YouTube thing, seeing all the comments, seeing you guys subscribe. Um, it's pretty cool. So if you guys want to see anything specifically, always make sure to comment down below. All right, guys, today is Tuesday morning. Um, Tuesday morning, four days out. Uh, woke up at pretty much an all-time low this morning. You know, the water's been jacked, nine liters the last two days. Today's probably gonna be my last, like, super low day. I might go a little bit lower. I'm doing 150 grams carbs. Today I might do, like, 100 grams. Um, just really deplete. Um, cardio today is just really easy on the elliptical, you know, like I've said, we've been backing off cardio this week to let the legs recover, fill out, as oftentimes if people get too depleted and they go to carb up, not enough time. Definitely was a good look this morning. Skin's getting thinner, drier, everything's on track. I went and saw Chris at KH Design for my posing suits uh, the other day. So she's making me three pairs. I think I'm going to be linking up with her later today, picking those up, trying them on. I got like a, a purplish blue, more of a Superman blue, and then kind of like a, maybe a lilac or lilac or a violet. It's like a light purple, really, really light purple. But hopefully I'll link up with Crystal later on. I'll show you guys. So some of you guys know, basically, I have a herniated disc L5S1. Managed to get it under control, thank God around like 10 weeks out and I've been pain free. This is 10 weeks out. Before that, I was battling with it. Yesterday, I was practicing my posing and I gotta be careful with the herniation, the twisting movement. So if I'm doing quarter turns, side chest, side tricep, and I was posing and for some reason, something just kind of tweaked in my, in my disc. And this morning, it's a little bit tight, a little bit inflamed. Um, so, I'm hoping uh, it doesn't flare up, cause me too much discomfort or pain, because if it does, oh, it's just, it's horrible. I'll, I'll be limping and it's, it's not easy to move around. It's gonna be posing very challenging. But I'm gonna take a lot of Wobenzyme today, which is a product for inflammation. Um, German patented product, very good. Um, and I'll increase my uh, curcumin with that take that between meals 
Um, so hopefully that can help reduce the inflammation. If tonight before bed it still feels bad, I'll probably have to do some naproxen or something. All right guys, so just about to get meal two in here and head to the gym, this is a pre-workout meal. Um, I gotta film myself today because Rachel is working all day. Um, she's helped picking up the slack for me this week um, and allowing me to focus on prep. You know, she's been awesome and helping me. But yeah, so meal one, uh, we slightly lowered the carbs today. So meal one was uh, 30 grams of carbs from Quick Oats. We did a cup and a half of egg whites. We did two whole eggs. Um, so that was meal one. Now we're about to have meal two. And we got eight ounce chicken breast. And I use the sweet heat, of course, on my chicken breast. And this is from the prep shop in Toronto. They're awesome. If you guys want to uh, try them out as Team H. D10 at checkout. And look what we found. I got myself some cream of rice. It's been months here in Canada without it. Um, ordered it actually from USA. So thanks to uh, the USA for, uh, you know, still carrying the cream of rice for some reason here in Canada. It's uh, missing in action. So we got 30 grams of carbs there from the cream of rice. Um, and then my salt, my salt is staying consistent. I don't want any fluctuations in salt. And that's why you guys have seen me in this salt. I even measure each meal. I do the little quarter teaspoon, just so it's precise. So I know exactly how much I'm getting. I'm very particular. Um, and then this meal, I do all my vitamins, so my VitaHD. Um, and I'm doing my... Uh, my probiotic as well. Um, I started, I changed around some of my, my vitamins and minerals. Meal one, I'm doing all my bodybuilding super subs. So I like to split them. That way I do my vitamins, meal two. And um, because we're starting, like, like I told you guys, the water's jacked, it's at nine liters because we want to start flushing water now. Um, so when I started that, I also started vitamin C, ester C. So these are 600 milligram um, capsules. So today I'm bumping it up to two capsules, three times a day. So it'll be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be well over three grams of uh, vitamin C. And that just helps the body flush water. I, I've had a lot of success in the past without using diuretics and just using vitamin C. Um, so I always like to start with that. All right guys, we're just getting ready to leave here to head to the gym. Um, this is our last chest shoulder workout. Um, I cut out um, my pre-HD, uh, today would be the third day with no pre-workout. Um, so right now around my workouts, the only thing I'm doing, um, because I'll be doing this more than likely the day of the show while I'm pumping up, um, is 50 grams of carb HD while I'm training. This is gonna keep, you know, keep some volume in the muscle, keep some glycogen in the muscle, make sure our muscles are not getting so depleted as they already are crazy depleted from months of dieting. So we'll do two scoops of that, which is 50 grams carbs. Um, and we're gonna do 10 grams of fermented EAAs. And we're gonna do our uh, quarter teaspoon of the uh, red wing real salts. So I'll basically start drinking this um, about two or three sets into my workout. Um, and I'll finish it about three quarters of the way through. That way, um, it gives my body a chance um, to absorb all those carbs. You know, I'm still not putting them in the system at the very end, so I like to finish it. That way I still have like, you know, four sets or five sets left with the body. Uptake all those carbs. Something I'm pretty excited about though is, obviously the show is super exciting this weekend. And I can't wait. It's gonna be so fun after the show to, to get together with everyone, hang out, de-stress. And then on Sunday, we have um, sort of the after party open house at Pure Muscle and Fitness. So tons of people are gonna be stopping by. I'm gonna be there all day, get some food in me, so it'll be a good spirit. So I look forward to chatting with everyone and hanging out. But I'm super pumped about just like, you know, documenting, um, you know, the reverse sort of diet out of this show. Believe it or not, it actually is going to help me and keep me accountable too. Because, you know, for those of you that have done shows before, you know how difficult it is to stay disciplined after a show. You know, you don't really have that date there to work towards anymore. So, 
you know, family, friends, asking you to go out. So it requires a lot of discipline uh, for the show. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. I'm showing you the optimal way to do that. And then, uh, you know, just two, three weeks after the show, we're going to be heading down to the Mr. Olympia and I'm going to get to show you guys sort of behind the scenes coaching Regan leading into the Olympia. We got Juji Mufu doing the amateur Olympia. So that's going to be a ton of fun. Um, so looking to bring you guys some, you know, cool variety of content. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Lots of exciting stuff happening. Um, it's pretty crazy that this prep is coming to an end, you know. As long as it feels like when you're in it, it like it goes by so quick. So we're already, already four days out. And uh, I'm super excited. What's up guys sorry yesterday when I got home from the gym I was absolutely smoked I was exhausted and having to film myself um, I got lazy and did not film and my back was bugging me last night quite a bit uh, as I mentioned I, I tweaked it with posing my herniated disc um, so last night before going to bed I popped to uh, to a leaves that seemed to drastically reduce the inflammation. So it felt better this morning. Um, so today, Wednesday, um, two and three days out, um, I had a two and a half hour massage scheduled uh, today with, with Matt. That was great. He worked on, basically worked on my entire body. He uses the smart tools, I really like them. I've had a lot of success um, with the type of therapy that he uses, breaking up muscle tissue, um, basically freeing up fascia, keeping everything loose, keeping everything um, pliable. Um, I feel like for me, when I'm preparing for a show, I get really tight in the shoulders and the chest, the arms, the legs, everywhere, like my quads. And I feel like for upper body, when I get that type of therapy done to my shoulders and chest, it keeps everything round, it keeps everything um, full uh, prevents you know any restrictions and then in my legs in the past I always dealt with uh, like issues of them getting really tight and really stuck together and uh, it would be hard for me to get a lot of separation through my quads so we spent a lot of time stripping out my legs uh, so I basically all prep I did one session two sessions a week one was primarily focused on legs and the other one was upper body so Matt came by this morning, did the final session. That felt great. Then after that, because it was such a long session, I took a nap, relaxed. Um, so today we're training after three meals. So on my way to the gym now, um, this is pretty much my last harder workout. It's gonna be arms. When I say harder, just like 80%. We're not going in there and killing it. And tomorrow, because the carb load is starting tonight with the last two meals, um, tomorrow will basically be like a full body sort of pump after breakfast. We'll go in there um, just to sort of drive nutrients into the muscles. So that's the update for now. Um, I, on my way to the gym here, I am heading to Tim Hortons here in Canada. Um, that's a go-to coffee spot. So I'm going to grab a black coffee because I'm not using any pre-workout. Cut that out days ago now. Could I, can I get a, a medium um, iced coffee, please? That is everything. Okay, done. I don't know if I just never noticed, but check out that paper straw. Very high quality. But there is the iced coffee. All right, you guys know I'm a huge fan of uh, cars. Um, just got the G63. Uh, Mercedes-Benz released that they're not making them for a year, and we had the opportunity to grab two of them so noah got one too i'm gonna show you guys um but yeah basically they already sell like way over value so with mercedes releasing that news and them not producing them it's just gonna drive the cost up so i have done a good job over the years of picking strategic cars and that way like basically don't lose any money on them like i just sold my uh mclaren before i bought this and i actually sold my mclaren 
for ten thousand dollars more than I paid two years ago. So done pretty well with the vehicles. So this is Noah's all matte black. It's pretty badass. It looks like a little tank. What color do you guys prefer? The black or the white? The white's cool because I like the contrast, I like the mirrors and the wheels pop. Um, but this thing just looks nasty. But we're gonna head into the gym here. Um, this is the new front entrance for Pure Muscle 2.0. So this is gonna be like, when you walk into here, these lights change colors. This is gonna be like a lounge area. So like couches, TV. People will be hanging out here. We'll probably be like, uh, actually do like, all of our apparel, we're gonna make it pretty cool so it's like you get HD products, other supplements, um, clothing. It's my dad working working hard here. See those biceps. That's where we get the genetics from. Yeah. Uh, golf ball. Welcome <laughs> 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 to the pure. <laughs> so we just finished this front counter here. See it pretty cool. It's gonna be a gate here. Got the walnuts. And then back here is going to be a really cool um, shake bar. Let me serve protein steaks and shit. There is Antoine. You working? I, I'm just finished. Just finishing. Yeah, yeah. Just finishing. So this is the gym. Pure Muscle 2.0. Carl. Carl's judging my show this weekend. Carl. What's up? Sounds like a good guy. Oh, you're, ju you're judging this weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. So pumped good, for good. I gotta see you guys in action. Yeah, yeah. Can't all, wait. All those hard work on stage now. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> that was a good goodbye to go down the cereal aisle. Yeah, it's like it's so hard to pick your favorite one too, right? Um, I was cruising here the other day and I noticed the chocolate, my favorite chocolate usually is Kit Kat. They had some crazy Kit Kat flavors at the other good. Fortinos. I got that one, Cookie Crumble, um, the, the Hazelnut Crunch. These <gasps> cookies and cream. Yeah, it was like that, but they were bigger and crunchier. I got it back. Wow. When we get home, we'll show you guys. The snack, we'll show you the epic snack drawer. Yeah. Carb meal. I still gotta get a lot of water in. Still got another two and a half liters to go for nine liters today. And there we go. Let's see what this thing's got. Hold on. Recording. So the snack drawer is pretty poverty right now, so I'm not gonna show you guys just a bunch of Rachel stuff in there. Usually it's stocked up a little more. But the other day, I was telling you at the grocery store we just got back. Yeah, I got these new Kit Kat minis of Chunkies. Those are awesome. I love Kit Kats. These are Chunkies. These are the Chunkies with cookies and cream in the middle. Uh, I love sa uh, Sour Patch Kids. The Cherry Blasters. Cookies and Cream. Crumble Kit Kat. This one looked pretty badass. Mini Egg. Uh, dairy Milk. And then this one seemed interesting. It was a Hershey's Reese's and Pieces. So I'm not going to go overboard after the show though, but you know, a couple pieces here and there. We'll do a reverse diet and I'll show you guys how to do it under control. Some of my go-to. For now, this will all stay in another time. All right, so the first higher carb meal begins. Wednesday night, meal five. We got eight ounces of chicken for the prep shop. If you're in Toronto, prep shop chicken is bomb. Um, and we're gonna have that with rice. The sushi rice. So we're gonna measure out um, about 75 grams of carbs worth of rice, which with my calculations and when with my rice cooked is 300 grams. So we're gonna fry that. Uh, 
with the meals, we're doing the vitamin C. I'm doing uh, 1200 milligrams of vitamin C three times a day right now to continue flushing water. And twirls. Do you have a discount code for prep shop or? Uh, for the prep shop, yeah, it's just teenage D10. So, that is meal five. We're gonna add our salt onto that and get this meal in.